And now it's time for our signature sign-off segment, folks. Tinkle time. With musical accompaniment by Mike Greenwood. Mike, it's great to have you back. You know, folks, they say that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's very expensive for me, as I have many medical ailments and so many medical doctors, and I don't have the storage space nor the money to keep buying multiple bushels of apples a day. My jewel Oscar locally is sold out indefinitely, and I'm no longer allowed at the Mariano's down the street because they say I buy too many apples, too much applesauce. There's no apple products anymore. I even went down to the Apple store and started looking for apples. I mean, this is becoming a big problem for me. So somebody please tell me where I can get apples concentrated more effectively for uh, my many medical needs and ailments that I would like to cure as soon as possible. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to have to go out of the city multiple times a week to apple orchards? to source these fucking things. This is really hard to do, folks. You know how hard it is to ride in downtown Chicago on the train with bushels of apples on you? I, oh, I can't I can't even, folks. I can't even. Anybody from Mott's, the apple juice, I would love a sponsor, please. Uh, what is it, Muscleman's uh, uh, apples, apple uh, sauce, Ziegler's? apple cider, you know, the, the real corporate shit. Come on. I would love it. You don't even have to throw in the cherry apple stuff. Like just straight apple is fine by me. I know not everyone likes that, but you know, I'm your guy. Anyone ever look into hard ciders? That sounds like a good idea. Like making apples into alcohol. I think that somebody should get on that. Anyway, for all of us here at BNN, I'm John Schwalski. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Pet, <laughs> <laughs>